If you're new to my channel, this isn't something that happens every day. But don't worry, this will probably be the best, most thorough action doll review you've ever watched. If you're not new to my channel, this isn't something that's going to be happening every day. I'll explain more after this. T-Man 978 Chill Review The first thing we'll start with is their packaging is pretty much the same. It's a card with a bubble on the top of it that has the character restrained to the card. Artwork, that. Characters you can find. Characters you can find again. A brief little bio and some more artwork right there. And yeah, mm, Supergirl. Pretty much the same thing. No art on the side. This is ripped up. I haven't taken her off of there. Here are some cross sales right there. You get a better bio right here that's only in English. So, yeah, Hasbro is always worried about selling to other countries, but Mattel don't care. They're giving us U.S. people what we want. For the people who don't collect dolls or don't have little daughters that they've bought dolls for, or other little kids that you bought daughters for, I mean, dolls for, one annoying thing they do is they clip their heads to the packaging. You can't just pull that out. And if you cut it, they have like little nubs still stuck in their head. I hate that. On to these figures themselves. Why am I doing this review? I found these cheap. So yeah, there you go with that. I think I found both of them for $5. I definitely got her for $5. I'm not sure about Supergirl. I bought Supergirl a long time ago with the plan to review her, but she's unfortunately been sitting on top of a detolf open to nature her hair is kind of fused together in certain places so ew. she's at a disadvantage there but if you've been watching my channel long enough you see that i review all types of crap i even have a doll playlist because i used to let my daughter review certain stuff and i reviewed certain stuff so let's just get to this for the people that want all the info this is the stand that came with mcfarland's dc superman and this is a Mezco Sapan. First up is Marvel Rising Secret Warriors, America Chavez here. I'm going to be showing their accessories first. And basically, these earrings are technically removable. They list them as accessories. I'm not taking them out. And she comes with this power punch effect, I guess. How that's supposed to work is you wrap this around her wrist. And she can wham. Maybe she's punching a hole through the fabric of reality she apparently has the ability to kick holes into reality i don't know if she uses her fists to do that but pretty much she can fly and she's bulletproof and invulnerable and super strong and all that stuff sort of like superman but i doubt she's on a level of superhero but outside of this and the earrings she basically just has the shoes that can technically come off she has molded toes i guess you could pretend these are stockings but she does have individual toes with molded toenails she has the shorts this gray molded plastic goes all the way up she has a molded and belly button but you can see the rest of the body is flesh tone and she has this which is all one piece it's sewn together right there so it's really a fake out type shirt and the hood i mean it's a big giant hood it has a hole in it, so if you wanted to, you could pull our hair through there. But let's try this. I, I haven't tried this yet. You can put the hood on. And there you go. But the hair comes out the back, so you could just pull the hair through the back. I don't know if that's a look she actually does at some point in the show. Now, DC Superheroes, Supergirl right here. She has more options and more accessories. For one, she does come with her high school card right here. High superhero high, high school right there card. With her little bio on the back and whatnot. But she has the shoes that can come off. She's also taller than America Chavez. Due to the fact that she has on the high heels. If I brought her ankle up to her ankle, they would be around the same height. But she's standing on her toes, so... She's going to be taller. It is what it is. So she has the socks right here. So that's optional. I didn't take these off before, but yeah, there we are. And I guess she has the typical Barbie feet. I'm not taking the sock off. I'm sorry. 
and she has the one piece super suit new panty coloration I think they should have did that since she's wearing a skirt skirt everything skin tone under there with the little dots that I, I know if you've seen that if you mess with dolls before but this is sewn to that it's she has a necklace around there the necklace purpose is to keep the cape on right here and the cape does have the s symbols right there molded in this is a pliable past plastic you can pop this off in fact it came off when i opened the box she does have this headband on it's like rubber band on there with a, a zip tie clip the one of those plastic ties i'm not taking that off but what i can take off is our hands because these bracelets are optional as well and the hand comes out very easy and goes back in easy i wish maybe this is a mm, these arms because she's so stylized they're not super thick but i wish other action figures came off that easy and go back in and actually stay there so you don't have to worry about it just randomly falling off but they do come out easy and go back in easy that's nice while we're still on supergirl let's look at her dress is nice like detail into the shirt right there with the different color sleeve the different color bracelets and one thing that sucks about barbie or well, since this is mattel that's one thing that sucks about mattel too they make all their figures no matter what superhero it is they make them look like barbie so this looks like a stylized barbie to me and one of their trademarks is to give them that glossed over stare where the eyes are slightly too far apart so it looks like she's looking straight but she's not focused particularly on anything you can't ever make her look directly at you i don't know if that's been discussed anywhere but that's something i noticed and since hasbro decided to copy off of this with their line right here you know these things these companies are in competition with each other she has the same thing going on but she has more of a smirk than Supergirl's just regular smile right there. America Chavez has some great details right here. And this is a fake jean jacket detail right there. This is all cotton, of course. Detail on the shoes. Detail on her shoes. But yeah, they have all nice details. The details are especially nice in this glove right there. You see that sculpting right there? It almost looks double layered, but really I believe this is red paint on the flesh tone right there. But the way it's so immaculately painted for something this big and cheap, basically, because this is a $20 figure. Way bigger than like a friggin' Marvel Legends. You would think they wouldn't put that much effort into it, but they did. You see that? That is, that's crazy. But with all the details out of the way, let's get into our articulation. The head can rock side to side. Back a little bit. Uh, she can look up. Let me let go of the hair. And look down a taste. Arms are on the two points of articulation so it can swivel and whatnot. This shirt is not getting in the way. She can swivel at the elbow, bend. Mm. They molded it so she can get this bend right there to be 90 degrees. This arm is a little bit loose. The wrist hinges in and out and rotates. Same for this side. No waste anything. The legs can spread that far out. Let's see, I didn't look up in there. I uh, think yeah. it's on like a universal hinge type situation so she can kick forward not kick back at all really swivel right here legs bend that much and no ankles but out of the both of these I really like her more real life human proportions that's nice I kind of feel like she's more human like even though she has the cartoony bigger head the proportions on this 
kind of remind me of Total Drama Island where the legs are like super freaking long. So I don't like that too much. And then as a result of like, let me try to be safe about this. Uh, as a result of that, her arms can't really like get onto her hips in a way that looks natural to me. But she has similar articulation. Head can go back, forward, pivot, side to side, and whatnot. Of course, rotate. Arms, same stuff. Elbows, the same. Wrists, do the same thing. But, advantage, she has a diaphragm joint. So she can rotate, tilt back, crunch forward a little bit, tilt side to side. So that is nice. Legs only go out that far. So she is not as articulated as that in the legs. Go forward. Kick back, not really. They don't swivel or anything at the thigh. The knees rotate instead of them being double jointed. So she doesn't have a lot of range in that knee at all. And then with the feet shaped like this, I, I missed that S right there. Yeah. She's not going to be standing well on in certain poses with her feet in the, in the position that they are in right there. But, ah, I don't know which one that I like better. I like that this has the diaphragm, but I really like the look of this figure right here. If... They had to go off what the cartoon looks like, so it's not Mattel's fault. But me, personally, as far as appearance, I like this one better. I just wish she had some type of torso articulation. If this thing had torso articulation, this would be a real viable action figure. As it stands now, she's still posable. And they gave Supergirl this hand right here. I, I don't know what she's supposed to do with that freaking hand. Luckily, they gave America Chavez a fist, something she can actually do something with. And as you can see, this is my go-to pose that I, I really like that I was able to put her in with the one leg up, one leg down. If the feet were posable, it will be better, but you can still make her look good. Nothing's wrong with this, of course. She still looks good, and it represents what they had on that show. I don't know if it still airs anywhere, but it's still representative of what she looks like in her <clears throat> cartoon image a little bit. Like I said, the face looks a lot more like Barbie. Like, see, they, they stylize it, like I, I was saying, but the proportions do look like this doll right here. So what do y'all think, whoever's watching this? If you wanted to introduce your child into the world of fashion action dolls, which one would you prefer? I, I set my decision a little bit. I want to know what y'all think in the comments. If I can find links to these, I'll put them in my description. If you don't feel like going out there searching for them. Like I said, I've been, these have been in like every five below, so... Five dollars is a good price. They typically retail their suggested retail price is twenty dollars, but they're cheaper everywhere because they've been out for a while. In fact, I think this line is discontinued. Actually, both of them may be discontinued to be honest. So you should be able to find these things cheap for now until everybody wants them. But anywho, whoever's watching this, especially if you're watching up to this point right now, hashtag completionist. Thank you for watching it. I really appreciate you. Thank you for clicking my like button because you, you obviously liked it. You watched it this far. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really.